Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Vineet and today we are going to learn how to create number guessing game using Python Ticketer. These are the topics that we are going to cover. We will start with the overview of application where I will show you how the application works. After that I will discuss about the random module which is the main module being used in this under the hood. After that we will start writing the code and I will show you how you can create this application. In the end I will discuss in the end I will discuss some scope of improvement that you can do by yourself in this application. Please stay tuned till the end of this video. and if you like the video please consider subscribing to our channel with these words let's get started so this is the application that we are going to create and in this application the software generates a random number and player must guess it the player has 3 attempts to guess the number you can change the number of attempts as well as a hint software will tell whether the number entered is greater or smaller from the randomly generated number so based upon that user can make changes to his input so let me go ahead and show you the application so this is the application that you have seen on the uh, presentation So in this application, the system has already generated a random number. I need to guess that number. So let's go with this seven. All right. So seven is a smaller number, and we have two uh, attempts left. So seven is smaller. That means the number ranges between eight to ten. I know how it ranges between eight to ten because the range that I have provided is between zero to ten. So random number has been generated between zero to ten. So uh, let's give it nine. All right. So nine is also smaller. That means the number is ten. since we are left only with the last number so the moment i have clicked on 10 you can see i am getting a message which says you want 10 is the right answer so let's go ahead and see how we can create this application using python ticketer but before that let's discuss about this main module which is random module that has been used to in order to generate a random numbers in this python ticketer application so it's a built in module to generate a random number it comes pre installed with the python if you have python you can simply go ahead and import random and it will be ready to use after that uh, it provides a wide variety of functions like you can generate the random numbers you can generate random numbers in integer and bytes you can generate a choices you can shuffle shuffle the choices etc it's time to understand the code now so i have already written the code i will explain you line by line first thing first i have imported everything from ticketer so from ticketer import asterisk and then i have imported the random module that is import random i have created a object for tk so the name of the object is ws and using that object i have created a title for the window with the name python guides and then i have provided a geometry of 600 by 400 i have uh, provided a background color to the window so here you can see that python guides is the title this is the geometry that you are seeing right now and this is the code for the bluish background color now after that i have used this random dot rand int So R A N D I N T is used to generate the random numbers in integers only. So that's why it is R A N D I N T. And then you have to provide the range, the starting number and the end number. So starting number is zero and end number is ten. That means the numbers will be generated between the, this range only. After that, I have created a variable with the name chance and I have provided a default value that is three. That means user will have three chances only. If you want to provide more chances, you can increase that number over here. This is the um, var int var string var. So these are the text variables that I have created, and the var is for the entry widget that I have created over here at the bottom. Here you can see that. And the next one, string display var is for the label. So I have created two label in this program. Let me show you. So one is the this one that you are seeing over here, and the next one is the one which is displaying a result. So the since we need a dynamic text over here, that's why I have used a text variable over here, and I have provided a disp, and disp is having a string values. Since the result has string and integer both, that's why I have used string. Let's talk about the GUI part. First of all, I have created a label with capital L. Then I have placed it inside a WS, which is which is a object for TK, which is a main window. You can say that. Then text that we want to see is number guessing game, which you are seeing over here. Font we have provided sans serif uh, with 20 font size. Solid is equal to relief. This is the border that you are seeing around it. It's because of the solid uh, that relief that we have provided solid. Then pad x and pad y. The pad x is the this space. and pad y is this space background color is this so the orange color that you are seeing over here is this one then we have a packet the geometry manager that we have used is pack geometry manager and we have provided a pad y of 10 so uh, 10 comma 0 that means uh, there will be a space on the top but there won't be any space at the bottom after that i have created an entry widget which i have placed on the main window that is ws text variable is var and then font same uh, that we have provided to this one 
but the size is different this time this is 18 pad y same geometry manager we have used that is pack and the pad y that we are using pad y is 50 and 10 50 means there will be a space on the top and space of 10 will be assigned at the bottom of this uh, entry widget after that there is a button so button is also placed on the same window and the text is uh, submit guess so click on it and it will uh, display the submit guess font is same as the entry widget command so command holds a name of a function which uh, the name of the function is check underscore guess this we are going to discuss after that uh, we have uh, positioned it using the same geometry manager which is pack in the end we have created another label which is also placed on the same window and it has a text variable as disp so uh, background color is this which is the same as the background color of the window font is this time 14 same uh, font name pad y is 20 that means the space on the top of this widget is 20 and there is no space at the bottom of this widget in the end we have started a main loop in order to hold the screen and we can see the updates now let's discuss about the function so the name of the function is check underscore guess it do not accept any argument here we have declared global variables that we have created on the top whatever the random number has been generated over here that we are going to use over it since you know we have to use this global word because we wanted to refer this one because every time we create a variable inside a function the scope of that variable is limited to that function only but since we want to use this variable from the outside uh, outside of this function that's why we have to use this global word over here similar uh, global word we have used for chance as well because we wanted to know whether the whether user has a chance to perform another attempt or not user ip so this is the variable which holds the information of where dot get so where dot get is the entry widget so whatever user has provided the input that information is being stored in this thing now we are starting a ladder if else ladder so if chance is greater than zero that means if user has a chance if it is greater than zero if user has a chance then it will enter into the in, inside this letter otherwise if user don't have any chance then this message will be displayed which says user has zero attempts left and uh, user has uh, zero chances left and he lost the match now let's understand what is what if the user has a chance and then what all things will happen so first thing first whatever user has provided input will be compared with the random number using double equals to operator which is a comparison operator so we are comparing if it matches then the message will be displayed which says uh, you won the, this was the number this is the right number so whatever user has input uh, will be the right number or the or whatever the system has generated will be considered so it will display whatever the number has been generated randomly so this could be either user input or uh, this can be this uh, system generated uh, random number because both are same so is the right answer so this is the message that user will be get and this message is being stored in this variable with the name msg this is the label last label we have used a set operation over there and we have displayed the message next is else if l if user ip if the number that user has entered is greater than uh, the number that uh, system has generated in that case the chance value so earlier it was three it will be decreased by one so now two chances are remaining and the message will be displayed the number is greater that means user has to provide less uh, smaller number in order to win the game you have this these many chances left third letter will be if uh, the number en en entered by the user is smaller than the number generated by the computer in that case also uh, the chance will be reduced by one and the message that will be displayed to the user is the number is smaller in the end we have created an else part which says something went wrong so in this way so this is how you can create this uh, application let's run it once again now let's play it so we have zero is smaller that means we have to enter some number six is greater so let's say six is greater i have to enter three or four let's write four zero attempts left i have already got the game so with this we have learned how to create this application so these are the few uh, scope of improvement that you can do with this application and you can make it a wonderful application so first is you can add a clear and uh, close button so in our application uh, there were if user wants to exit he has to click that uh, red cross button on the top right corner but you can uh, create one as well other is you can convert it into an object oriented programming that will make it make this program more efficient like uh, and you can also convert it into a multiplayer multiplayer game at the end you can uh, on the right side you can see that we have created this interface we will provide the source code for this as well so uh, you you can add this where you can add instructions to, to play this game you can add settings where you can change the color or uh, background color of the application you can click on the quit button in order to close the application 
and when the user clicks on the start button then he will be seeing seeing that interface that game interface so all these things uh, you can do other than that you can also do few uh, more things let's say so let me run the application in order to show you that now here uh, you can take the uh, range you can on the first page you can accept the range of numbers that you want that the user can provide like it could be from 0 to 10 or it could be 0 to 100 or between 10 to 100 something like that other than that you can also accept the number uh, you can also provide user to change the number of chances so all these things can be made dynamically that will make this application more beautiful and more uh, functionful like more functions can be added so these all these were our input in case if you have any other suggestion you can just write it in the comment section of this video with this we have learned how to create the guessing game using python decanter i hope this video was helpful if it was please click on the like button also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thank you for watching have a great day